Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I uh, wanted to mention a little something concerning the um, SDR Sharp software and the fact that of course it doesn't run the um, SDR Play RSP devices. It used to but it doesn't anymore. And one of the aspects of uh, SDR Sharp and for example an RTL SDR V3 that I was talking about in previous videos is the fact that SDR Sharp has a series of plugins and we'll be exploring these plugins here on the channel as I'm going to take the time to install some and test them and conf make configurations because with a device that runs on SDR Sharp uh, like the RTL SDR V3 you can actually add with the plugins functionalities that are interesting like trunking and um, capability of decoding you know some digital modes and um, ac accessing you know some digital form communications of course that are not encrypted and this is a big positive point for SDR Sharp it is the software for plugins and for extras that pretty much no other software defined receiver software has so if you are interested in getting into the 30 megahertz and above with an SDR um, it would be nice to actually choose an SDR that uh, if you want to have the maximum capabilities an SDR that actually works well with the SDR Sharp software I think that's one thing to look at so whatever you purchase um, make sure that it works with the um, SDR Sharp software always look at the frequency coverage you know I told you the AirSpy HF Plus has a very small coverage uh, but you know devices like the uh, RTL SDR V3 goes up to the gigahertz range uh, these are very very suitable uh, devices even though uh, you know not too expensive and you can try the plugins and try to um, have fun uh, and you know maybe um, instead of a very expensive scanner radio like a uh, you know the Whistler scanners that uh, actually uh, decode digital modes and stuff like that maybe you'll have fun doing it even on software with SDR Sharp and you know much cheaper device um, of course it takes the plugins it takes the know-how and the knowledge and uh, hopefully some of the videos I'll post will help you into that direction in the next weeks and months as we uh, will be looking at more plugins and more information so um, SDR Sharp and whatever device you might want just make sure that if you're going to be a fan of 30 megahertz and above that it can actually use SDR Sharp for the plugin capabilities if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos